Probably one of the best balls we've bought in a long time. He has not served a kai. Look at that. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Hillstown Farm. Got the wee ones with me today, look. Last day, back to school. Bye. Isn't it just class? So, <laughs> when things go wrong, they go royally wrong. They go ex spectacularly wrong. So, bought a nice blue ball. A really uh, quite expensive ball too. But uh, a very good ball. <laughs> He's a clinker of a ball. But it doesn't work. So we've got the cows test it and nothing is in calf. But you see him working. And he's been tested. He's had a jump. He's got straws off him. He got 150 straws off one jump off him, allegedly. And he doesn't need work. So I'll explain a bit more about that later on. But we've had to go and get another ball, which is there. A Simmental ball, which we've borrowed. Kindly donated or lent to us by our butcher in the farm shop, Miss Armour. So hopefully in the next six weeks these guys will be all bald and in calf. Because <laughs> it's not a nice thing. It's such a waste. Especially when you see the calves we had last year. And we get rid of that good ball to buy a good blue ball. Weird. Look at that. Is that not a clinker or what? Shot and quiet too. Um, but these things happen. So we're here to test you. So we'll just go over it. So we will. So we'll look for a new ball over the winter time. And uh, that'll get us going for next year. A young ball. Hopefully, if anybody knows of anything in the comments, what we should be putting to these cows for the next run. Um, well, I'm open to suggestions. And I would like a young ball, maybe something <clears throat> doesn't need to be too old, it's just something to bring on ourselves really. We took the opportunity now to split out all the bad cows. So we had a few, well not clay, they're not really bad cows, are they? Yeah. No. They're just ones with feet problems. Uh we have a lot of because we finish a lot of heifers and we buy them a lot from the markets the turnout in calf because the farmer before hasn't kept the ball away and then he takes them and sells them in the market which is a bit stupid to be honest so we end up with a lot of cows our heifers are in calf and we had to calve them and bring them on and they're just not suitable and so we pulled all them out they're not staying normally they would have stayed with the herd and we just get the thing going but we say that enough is enough this year we had Dev which is a Belgian blue Rose and Blue Cross Holstein, yeah. Bags of milk. Quite a average sort of calf. It's okay. Had a calf, a live calf, which is good. Although we have likes of this in here. This is a clinker too. She's going, but because of her feet, but she has some mighty calf. So that's a heifer calf. I would hope to keep that calf here on the farm. Well, maybe that's not a good idea with a bad feet, but it's smaller. But so that's that plan. Like that one doesn't start. So if you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, ring the little bell so we can get notifications of when we pop the video out. And give us a big thumbs up. Also, uh, stick in the comments anything you need to know. We'll be happy to answer it. Also, what weight do you think that ball is? That ball's going to the market now in the next week or so. What weight do you think he looks? All you judges out there. I'm going to send him off. He's for, he's for a weight. And uh, see who's the closest. Yeah. So here's the boy. The big boy. We call him Boris. Why do we call him Boris, Cars? Any ideas? Shouldn't have called him Boris because I think it's jinxed him. Look at that. Look at the length. Shape, size, feet. Good feet. Ah, uh, sure. Cracking ball.
bottom because he could walk right. He had good feet. He was. Yeah. Lots of size, power about him. Look at that. Well, he's been out with the cows now for 12 weeks. And we'll we see him jumping. He has not served a cow. Probably one of the best balls we've bought in a long time. Um, apart from a Charlie ball we bought locally a few years ago, which was throwing mighty calves, unreal calves. I should have bought an R Charlie. Um, from a breeder in Kells, in the Callisters. So, but, I so thought we'd go back to basics, and this was the original ball we bought, or original breed that we bought when we started. Suck cows, and they've done us a great job. But this boy is not any use. So, he's jumping okay, he's fertile. Because they took a jump off him before I bought him, and there was 150 straws off the one jump, so he's working. The only problem is he's, according to the vet, he's checked him out. Now he hasn't had any hurts. He hasn't broken his rod, if you know what I mean. Um, because there's no swellings, there's no lumps. He's just uh. He's just hitting the size of the cow. He's not he's not hitting the target. So that's the problem. He's uh he jumps the cow, he's going up the side of the cow instead of where it should be going. And missing. So it seems to be a genetic problem or uh Somebody wants to comment below just exactly what that is, but uh, the vet called it penile dysfunction. So, you need three tablets or something. I don't know. So, you scrap, basically. So, this boy's going to go to the market. I'm going to sell him fat, and that will be him. Sad day. Sad, sad day. Is that right, guys? Mm -hmm. I think Carves was looking forward to seeing the calves out of this guy. Weren't you? Yeah. <clears throat> but that is life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>